एवरी वन टेसिलेशन पैटर्न है आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर सिंस एंशियंट टाइम्स बट वट लाइज अंडर इज मैथमेटिक्स वे इंट्रोड्यूस दिस कॉन्सेप्ट थ्रू एन एक्टिविटी दिस एक्टिविटी वॉज स्प्रेड ओवर इन टू राउंड द रूल्स ऑफ दिस एक्टिविटी वर एज फॉलोज इन द फर्स्ट राउंड दे हैड टू क्रिएट रंगोली यूजिंग डिफरेंट जियोमेट्रिकल शेप्स सेकेंड राउंड रिक्वायर्ड दैन टू मेक यूजफुल ऑब्जेक्ट यूजिंग टेसिलेशन The amalgamation of art with math to introduce their beautiful creations was indeed a great learning and experience for grade five students. Good luck to all these students. Learning remains lifeless unless introduced with an interesting form of an experience. Therefore, the students at Kothari International School are given ample opportunities to participate in such activities which intertwine math with the world of science and art. So let us explore today mathematics in a different fascination and see how easy it was for our students to put on their math goggles and integrate mathematics with visual arts. Namaskar everyone. I am Trisha Das from class 5B. Do you know what I am holding in my hands? Coasters. You got that right. But these are not ordinary coasters. These are coasters made by me using maths and art. It's a style called tessellation. Tessellation is the arrangement of similar shapes to make endless patterns without gaps. I have made these coasters by pasting multicolored pastel sheets on hard boards using tessellation method. In all the coasters, you can see that the designs are seamless across from left to right as well as from top to bottom. While making them, you need to constantly make sure that the measurements are uniform. Due to the hard board at the bottom, my coasters are sturdy and can be used while drinking milk. Thank you. Tessellation is created when a shape is repeated over and over again without any gaps or overlaps. Art integration in maths is providing us an engaging and effective way to learn. I have made a decorative ball using tessellation. I had cut and paste many number of paintings. I loved doing this activity and it has made me understand the concept of tessellation and shapes in a fun way and I have made a decorative ball to hang on the Christmas tree soon. Thank you. And today I am going to talk about my tessellation activity for round 2. Tessellation is basically tiling of many similar shapes. I made a starter plate in this activity. The starter plate had cubic designs and those cubic designs had 3D effects. To make those effects more defined, I had used colors. I would like to say that this activity was a wonderful compilation of mathematics and art. I enjoyed this activity a lot. Thanks to our math teacher, Monica Ma'am, to give us such a brilliant opportunity in these tough times. Thank you. Namaskar to my respected teachers. This is Abhishek Chauhan from Grade 5D. And today I have created a bag out of tessellation. A tessellation is an arrangement of shapes fitted together closely without any gaps and overlapping. Plus, I found it this activity very interesting. And it also makes me understand tessellations in a much better way because it covers up so many areas of mathematics like geometry. So, this is one of the examples of tessellations which I have made on this bag. This is a tessellation which I have drawn on this bag. And there are many more examples just like this. Thank you. My name is Pranav Kumar Vandamani and today I am going to show you my real tessellation lamp shape. What is a tessellation? Tessellation is a class of patterns that forms a interesting pattern with no gaps or overlaps left. They form and united an interesting pattern. This activity was very good and creative. For making this tessellation, I used a 5 by 5 in square. Then I cut a semicircle to form the tail of the square of the bear. Then I cut another portion to make the face of the bear. Then I shaded it with some oil pastels to give it effect. 
I gave it a cylindrical shape to form a lamp shape like this. It is a very good example of mathematical, mathematical shapes and art. Thank you. I am Sanvi Goyal studying in grade 5C KIS. I have made this 3D infinity box using the concept of tessellations and mirror images. Tessellations are geometrical patterns using re repetitive images without overlaps and gaps. I have used six different color, two different sized origami square sheets for this activity. I had loads of fun with this project and enjoyed it thoroughly. I had learned about square, triangle, rectangle, cube, cuboid of different sizes and was amazed to see that this box, apart from having different patterns, makes different 3D shapes as well. I love my I love my handmade creative toy. Thank you teachers for this wonderful opportunity. Hello, my name is Ratna and I am going to talk about tessellation. Tessellation is a creative expression that combines math and art into a unique way. I can tell you from my experience, it's quite fun and interesting. I created a multi-dimension shape and repeated it to make a pattern with two colors. I had to be meticulous in my approach. Honestly, in case of tessellation, the process of creation is as enriching as final outcome. Trust me, it will make a big difference on your creative thinking and design. Try it, you'll love it. Thank you. Namaskar and hi everyone. I'm Ishita. Tessellations are designs which have no gaps and overlaps. Some examples are carpets, and quilts. Do you know that there are some tessellations in nature too? Some examples are honeycomb and pineapple. I have made this design, cube 3D design on this travel mug. And this is an infinity cube. It is also a nice example of tessellation. There are many tessellations on it. These two are also good examples of tessellations. They are used for decorative geometry tiling. Thank you. Namaskar. My name is Naman Singh and I am from class 5F. Today, I am going to talk about what I learned while doing this maths activity. So, the first thing I learned that what is a tessellation? Tessellation is basically a design created by repeating the shapes again and again and not leaving any gaps. I also learned that we cannot overlap the shapes while making the tessellation. The second thing I improved, I improved my ma I improved my art and craft skills. This will help me in the future art and craft activities. I enjoyed this activity a lot and I hope that I will get an opportunity to participate in these kind of future activities. Thank you. Namaskar, I am Apunya Agarwal from grade 5 and today I will be talking about my tessellation wall hanging. A tessellation is a geometric pattern in which the shapes don't overlap and there are no gaps between them. The simplest example in our daily lives is a jigsaw puzzle. It is a tessellation pattern and if you get into more detailed ones, a football is a good one. It is made up of many hexagons. Now I will be talking about my own tessellation pattern which is a wall hanging. I have tessellated many cat faces into bright colors. Even the string, if you look closely, is a tessellation. I have used loom bands to make a fish tail pattern. Thank you. Namaskar. My name is Amok Jindal and I am from Class 5A. Today, I am going to be talking about what I learned from the tessellation making activity. My tessellation is a ball that is a combination of origami art and math polygons. I gain knowledge about different shapes. Now, let's see how does an individual piece of it look like. I have got a rectangular piece of paper here to show you. Every fold is a polygon in it. There are total 7 folds made like this which make us a pentagon. There are total 12 pentagons needed to make this ball. 
Thank you. Everyone, my name is Arnav Das. I study in class 5E. I love making this distillation. This made me realize that symmetry of small shapes can bring out spectacular results. I hope you like my table math. Thank you. I am Sachin Goshit from 5E. I am presenting my dartboard activity. I have developed this beautiful dartboard by use, by using tessellation on a circle. It it is a oh, it is a very good activity. We can play it inside the house. It it helps learning, addition, and improving our focus. My room my room wall is l looking decorated with this board. closely related. Both the disciplines require spatial reasoning skills and the ability to recognize patterns. In fact, mathematics has been itself described as an art motivated by beauty and tessellations can be found in many areas of life. This activity provided the students an opportunity to analyze patterns and explore the role of mathematics in nature and world culture while having some fun. Imagination is the beginning of creation and all our students have proved it through the beautiful work created by them. It was an extremely difficult task to judge the students. So, to do the honours, we have with us Ms. Surbhi Ghosh who possesses a rich experience in fine arts. Ms. Surbhi has over 15 years of experience in arts and also holds an experience in being a part of many exhibitions. She believes in nurturing beautiful thoughts in children through any form of art. Hello my dear students. First of all, I would like to thank the KIS family for inviting me to witness such an amazing event done by you all. Each and every work was just wonderful that it was really difficult for me to judge one over the other. Although tessellation is a mathematical activity, but presenting it with accuracy and perfection is an art. I was really impressed to see the level of creativity of all the students. In my eyes, you all are winners because participating in such a complex mathematical art is commendable in itself. So now it's time for the results. I wish you all the very best.